This is Eugene Panrikovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus X53e laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus X53 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to remove all sources of power and that includes the battery. So we flip the laptop over and there's two levers on each side of the battery. So we slide both of those out and hold the one on the right and slide the battery out like so. Once the battery out is out, the laptop is safe to work on. While we're still on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop. There's a sticker, blue sticker, that's right above the window sticker and right on top it says model x53e and that's the model number okay we flip the laptop over and if the, your laptop still has a sticker on the side it will say the model number here also okay with this or any other laptop in order to get to the screen assembly you have to remove the screen bezel that's the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you have to remove two screws at the bottom and they're hiding behind some rubber plastic covers, which we also have to remove. Before we start, I'll show you the tools that we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. We have a smaller PH zero zero screwdriver for smaller screws a two millimeter flathead screwdriver and that's used to pry things open if we need it a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck and finally an exacto knife or a hobby knife and that's to remove the rubber screw covers so that's what we're going to start with and we'll remove the rubber screw covers with our hobby knife and what I like to do with them is put them right beside the screw opening so I don't lose them. There's one and there's two. Once we do that we're going to use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws on the bottom. There's one and two. And for each set of screws, for each step, I like to keep them in a separate pile. So when I'm putting the laptop together, I know which screws go where for each step. Once we remove the screws, we're going to snap off the screen bezel. And what I like to do for this step is put my fingertips on the screen side or my fingernails and gently lift up the screen bezel from the screen side and listen for snapping sounds like so. And in this way, we work our way around the screen. There might be some adhesive. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. So, but the procedure is still the same. We keep going around the screen and the bezel comes off. So next, let's take a look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's mounted to some metal mounting brackets on the sides with screws that are also on the sides. And for in this case, we can easily get to the screws on the sides. For sometimes, you have to remove the top screws to tilt the screen forward to get to the screws. But in this case, we can reach all three screws on each side relatively easily. So we take our PH00 screwdriver and start removing the screws one by one from the side of the laptop. One, two, three, and four. That's one side and we're going to do the same thing from the other side. When you're doing this step make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit. This way when you remove all the screws they don't, uh, the screen doesn't fall down on you. So next 
we're going to remove the four screws on the other side. There's one. Two. We're going to need some help from our tweezers on this one. So we remove the screw using the tweezers. Keep moving along. Once again, we use the tweezers to remove the screw once we loosen it. This one is a little bit tricky, so we will find it. And finally, the fourth screw. Remove it like so. Once we remove all four screws, we gently tilt the screen forward and make sure there's nothing stuck on the screen. And we keep moving along and put the screen down. For this type of screen, there's only one connector, and it's over here. And we have to remove some adhesive tape on the top to get to the connector and remove the connector. And that's what we're going to do now. And I use my fingernail to lift up the adhesive tape, but you can also use the hobby knife to do that. We lift up the adhesive tape on top. And there is also some adhesive on the back of the video cable. So we lift that up. Once we do that, we just slide we, we slide the connector out like so. Okay, the screen is free now, but before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect it because that's a tricky part sometimes. You slide the connector in and make sure you feel two clicks. You won't hear them, but you'll feel them. And let's take a look at the close-up of what the connection should look like. Okay, pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like this. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. So the two sides of the connection should be flush with each other, and that's a proper connection. All right, let's keep moving. We slide the connector out again, and let's take a look at the screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen. As of late 2012, it's the most common screen on laptops, so you should not have any problem finding it. And let me show you the number that you need to look for. The number that you need to look for is LP156WH4. That's the number. Now, you can also buy this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons. And what you get with us is this toolkit that I use in the video. It comes for free with the screen. So you have all the tools necessary. The screen itself comes with a two-year warranty from us. And we have free email technical support. So if you get stuck at a step in the process, send us email and we'll walk you through it. And finally, we ship from warehouses in Atlanta and Tucson. So if you're in the continental United States, you'll get your screen in less than three days for most cases. And if you're outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries, so that's no problem. To order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out. We just need your email address and the laptop model, and we'll email you the link to buy the right screen online. Or if you want to find it yourself, when you get to our website, click Find Your Screen, and then type in X53 in the search box and the first result will be the right result for your screen. Just click there and buy the screen online. OK, once the screen does come in, you connect the connector, as I showed you. Put the four screws or the screws in on each side. And if you have trouble putting the screws in, uh, take these two screws out so you can move the brackets forward a little bit. That'll give you more space. Put the four screws in. Once you do that, then you snap the screen bezel back on and the put two, two screws in on the bottom and you'll be done. And the laptop will be good as new. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.